I thought long and hard about um, bringing my story to the forefront. Um, I was very hesitant for a number of reasons, but here we are. <laughs> so bear with me. Um, my goal is not to discuss the incident that occurred. I, I do not want to intentionally trigger myself or trigger anyone else who is watching this video. And more um, importantly, thank you so much for viewing. I hope that this video helps. So let's get down to business. First, let's dispel a few myths. The first one is that there is a specific time period or some deadline for a veteran to file a service-connected claim. And that simply just is not true. I did not file my claim until decades later, and um, I did not have a problem um, receiving a service-connected um, disability. So that's the one myth we need to dispel. And if that's holding you back because you feel, you know, it's it's been a long time, uh, don't let that be the reason. You know, seek treatment and, um, you know, submit your claim. Um, also, especially when it comes to military sexual trauma claims, a lot of people are hesitant to submit um, their claim because they feel as though during the investigation that the Veterans Administration is going to reach out to your aggressor and nothing could be further from the truth. I mean, can you imagine the liability associated with reaching out to our aggressors? They're, they are not going to do that, but they will investigate, they will research, they will compare documentation to substantiate your claim. So if that was holding you back, like I said, if you if you feel like, oh, I, don't, I didn't want to do this because they may reach out to him or her, um, that is not the case. Um, also, a lot of people feel that when the incident occurred, they did not go to the doctor um, or they did not report it, so they don't have any documentation. Uh, in their military records to substantiate their claim. And I'm here to tell you that you have some documentation that can support your claim. You just need to look outside of the box. Um, what's the phrase? A leopard doesn't change his spots. Uh, a lot of these aggressors, they continued with their behavior. The internet is very resourceful. If you know their uh, his or her name, Look it up on the internet, search their court records. You can probably find some things. You'd be surprised with what you can find um, that would substantiate your claim and you can, you can upload that and add it um, just to um, let the VA know that, that, you know, this, even though, you know, you didn't have proof here that um, this person is, um, has a very bad character and has a history of abuse or sexual harassment or whatever the case may be. So also, um, you know, you hear a lot of people talk about, oh, you know, get a buddy statement. Well, that statement doesn't necessarily have to come from someone in the military. So if you ever shared your story with your mother or, or your brother or a good friend, um, they can also just, you know, write, write a little quick note of what you told them and you can add that to your claim as well. And so, you know, if you went to a therapist over the years, you have that as documentation. Um, doctor's appointments later after the fact, you can use that as documentation. So you probably do have some type of documentation to support your claim. You're just thinking that you don't because it's not in your military records and that's not the case. Last, uh, this is just a personal pet peeve and can often be a trigger for me. Um, just because we wait to submit a claim years later, decades later, 
does not mean that we're dishonest and trying to take advantage of the system. How dare you? You have no idea of what we go through. Um, a lot of us, we're so busy putting the blame on ourselves, second guessing ourselves, um, dealing with nightmares, taking medication, just doing everything we can to put one foot forward just to simply exist, that seeking treatment or filing a, a claim for benefits is so low on the freaking totem pole that, you know, you have to wait until you're ready. And that can take, that can take years. It just depends on the person. So don't let that hold you back. Um, oftentimes we, we don't come forward. We, we, we're silent in our traumas. So if that was holding you back, um, you just have to put aside what people think and what people are going to say. Only you know your story. Only you know what you're going through. Only you know how you feel. So I hope I helped. Um, dispel some of the myths and uh, I will be uploading a couple of more videos to share my experience with actually filing the claim and the documentation that uh, I submitted and just going over the CMP exam and, and a host of other things. So please like, please subscribe and thank you so much again for viewing. Good night.